Hey, Cap. What the hell is that? legacy set mm -hmm. you've accomplished a lot mm -hmm. you're the man mm -hmm. but what inspires you um, what still gets you motivated what gets you going uh, failure <laughs> is that the ultimate my brother my brother's always beating out down my shot you know my brother's tony scott oh i know your brother so is. you know what we're, we're not exactly competitive but we are no I, I can i can imagine that who usually comes out on top uh, I, I usually let him because i'm the older one Blood sicker than water. <laughs> How far into a project do you show them something, or do you show them at all? No, we no, no, no. We show. I we show it when it's done. Okay. I, I usually show it to him in final cut and say, "What? Well, okay, tell me." And he'll sit there and watch it, and he'll give me some notes, right? Yeah, yeah. Let yeah. you know what he yeah. thought was good. But we, funny, we don't really buy. He does the certain kind of thing, and I do a certain kind of thing. And oddly enough, we've never really conflicted on anything. Yeah, but it's kind of funny though because each of you have a unique. Sure. Sort of signature style, sure. mm -hmm. and they, they don't really mix. I mean, they're completely different, almost sure. like you're not related, sure. which is kind of odd, but it's very mm -hmm. cool in sort of a way. Well, when I was, I was, I mean, 20, I was 20, and we're north of England, and he would be six years younger than me, so he's 13. So, yeah. And I ruined his entire summer by saying, I have a camera, we're going to make a movie, and you are the actor, and you're going to be carrying the equipment, so you get <laughs> up in the morning, the whole moment, about 6 a.m., he's in his summer holidays. What was your first movie called that you shot? It's called The Boy in the Bicycle. You still own it? You still have it? it? Yeah, it's in the British British Film Institute. Quite, oh, so I can go good. check it out. Well, yeah, no, it's half an hour, and you know, it just shows what you can do with an instruction book and say, shut up, wait. You say, I'm free, say, shut up. Go and get some sandwiches, and I go, look, and I'm reading the book, and then winding up the clock by a camera, you make the film. You make the movie. So has he seen this movie? Sorry? Has he seen Prometheus yet? Yes. What do you think? Uh, he loved it, yeah. It's cool. Why'd yeah. you want to do this movie? What, what got you going on this one? Why this um, project? Why uh, now? Why this time? I think time to shake the box, you know? I can't really... I shouldn't... No, I shouldn't be saying this, but... I think, you know, science fiction is a, such a wonderful possibility where anything goes. And the danger about where anything goes, the meal's too rich, unless you really box it in and actually create your own rule book. And I don't give a shit if the box is epic. Make sure you've got parameters where... So it doesn't spiral anything, out of control. Anything can't go. You need restrictions. So what would you say is one of your favorite science fiction movies and why? What's the uh, one you look to or the one that you now respect reads, the most? Oh, yeah. Now reads maybe a shade slow, but that's because it was 50, 45 years ago. It was, uh, you know, 2001. The grand, the grand ideas in that are spectacular. The very fact at the time, Stanley had thought about that a computer that runs everything actually... Um, is the central figure of, is the star of the movie, apart from apart from his art direction. Right, I like the movie because it was on such a grand scale. Are there any filmmakers that you're sort of jealous of or envious of? You're like, wow, that guy or that woman's good. Occasionally, the, you know, occasionally people do. It's like being in sports, I think, really. And the problem is sports one-on-one, so any one-on-one sport I know is tennis. I always relate to tennis. Right. And, you know, you lose, you can't blame anyone but yourself. You can go... Say the sun got mine, all that shit. You lost, dude, <laughs> and or you won, you know. Okay. So you can go and beat your head against the wall in the hotel room if you want at night, but the, you're responsible for yourself. That's what I like about it. Now, as a filmmaker, how much does the internet rattle you, or how much do you respect it in terms of always sort of like pinpointing you I, and your work? I, yeah, I, I think um, it's cheeky. It's cheeky, and I think the cheekiness is comes with the press that is cheeky sometimes because, you know, you could reply, you know, but then like, you know, you move on. You know, so I, I kind of tend to not pay attention to it. So ignore all the, this is an alien prequel and all that mess. Oh, who cares? Uh, the, the point is that I think the film stands alone. On, it's on, it's really on, on its own. If you are aware of the first one, that's cool and dandy. Right. But this one definitely has now moved on to a new universe to the extent at the very end she says, 
I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still uh, look searching is leaves us wide open to a really interesting sequel. Because this film, just with this film, I think Prometheus is uh, best described as epic. And the first Alien was actually more enclosed and boxed in. It, nevertheless, it was a good engine. That's true. Well, since you're viral, I'll just salute you. Job Thank well you, man. Thank no, you. Thank you.